Mm. How are you? What did the doctor say? Well, they said I should regain full range of motion, maybe a little physical therapy, but no permanent nerve damage. I hate that you had to go through another surgery by yourself. I wish I could have been there. It's okay, you're here now. Are you hungry? Can I make you dinner no, or something? No, no, no. Um, I just want you to tell me about Jake. He is teething like crazy. He has oh. cut two more since the last time you saw him. One on the top and the bottom. Mm -hmm. I took a picture of him this morning see. so you could see. Oh man, he is he is getting so big. He looks more and more like his daddy every day. Yeah, I was um I've been thinking about him a lot. You know, you and us. And I know that Sonny made a truce with the Sakaras. And they say that they want to keep the peace. So, um, I don't know. I was thinking maybe. I'm sorry. Oh, it's a hospital. Uh, I mean, if you, if you have to go, you gotta go. It's a trauma. They need me. Yes, we've got a lacerated liver in OR2. Dr. O'Donnell is prepping him now. Dr. O'Donnell? The victim was a little boy. He got hit by a car while he was riding his bike in front of his house. His uh, father was in the front yard and saw the whole thing. I want to see my son. I'm sorry, sir. He's already prepped and heading into surgery. Zach's only eight. His birthday was last week. He's been begging me to buy him a bike, and I... Please, I really need to be with my son. Please, Zach needs to know that I'm here. I will tell him. I'm gonna go down to the OR. I'll let him know that you're out here waiting for him. You have to save my son. He's my whole life. I can't live without him. Hey. You just got back? About an hour ago, yeah. How'd it go? Uh, better than the first operation. Doctors say I'm gonna need some physical therapy, but no permanent damage. Good, good. Yeah. How'd, how'd things go back here? Well, it would have been great if I wasn't tripping over Spinelli every four seconds, you know what I mean? I'm sorry, I, I just, you know, wanted to give Spinelli something to do so he wouldn't worry so much. Him or you? Because if this truce is not going to hold, please tell me. If I thought the Zakars were going to make a move, I would have never left. Okay. So you, you, you pushed me into making this truce, and I'm thinking you're right. Well, I still want to increase security at the warehouse and, and around here, okay? So we're going to have to find guys from someplace else because our guys are spread so thin. Okay, so I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what to do. Hey, I don't. Things are... I don't want Michael seeing me surrounded by men with guns and all that. I don't think it's good for him. Well, that's... A, what do you mean? You need protection. That's yeah, well, we... you know what? It, it, so do my kids. So uh, I think the way to keep them safe is to focus on the coffee business and keep the mob-related activity to a minimum. I understand. What do you mean, focus? Are, are you thinking about getting out of the business? Is it? You know that, that that's not an option. But I am making some changes, and I'm going to make more so I can give people that I love a better life. Um, I've been anxiously awaiting your return. Um, all is, all is well? Yeah. I think it? Everything, uh, everything's good. No permanent damage, no, uh, complications. <laughs> oh, much to your grasshopper's relief. Um, perhaps, I don't know, perhaps you should call the, the maternal one and share oh, the joyous she news. she already knows. Oh. Yeah, she was actually here waiting for me when I got home from the hospital. You don't say that, that, 
That must have been a welcome surprise. Uh, sure is. I mean, since you're the only one who knew what time I was getting back. Oh. Well, um, the Jackal may have mentioned, um, about your impending arrival to Fair Elizabeth, and I, I don't know, perhaps even suggested that she be on hand to welcome you back from your medical sojourn. Which has obviously incurred the wrath of the master, so I will save you time and send myself up to the regret of the Fidelli. I'm not mad. You're not? No, no, actually, uh, thank you for that. How is he? We were able to stop the bleeding and repair the damage to his liver. Your son should make a full recovery. Thank you. Can I? Hey, Zach, is that me? I'm going to be right here when you wake up, okay? I love you. I'm not going anywhere. I mean, there wasn't, you know, much to do while I was waiting around for the operation except lie in bed, and, and that gave me uh, a lot of time to think. What was the nature of your pre-surgical musings? Jake. The night he was born. You know, how I felt the first time I held Jake in my arms. He was so... I mean, he was so small and helpless, and now I look at Jake, and I can't even believe it's the same kid. I mean, he is growing and changing so fast, and, and I haven't been there to see it. You know, I missed most of my son's life, and I realized I don't want to miss anymore. Are you saying that you're... You're ready to claim little Jacob Martin as your own? How's the Adams boy? Dr. Donald wants to keep him in the ICU for the night, but then tomorrow he'll be moved down to pediatrics. I'm sure he'll be discharged early next week. It's a miracle that that boy's going home at all, considering the condition he was in a few hours ago. I think it really helped knowing that his father was out here waiting for him. It's really gratifying to see that a father's that invested. floor nurse's station. Kind of makes you realize how important a father is to a child. Yes, it does. Do you ever feel like your kids are missing out in some way? All the time. Especially Jake. And at least Cameron knows what it's like to live under the same roof with two parents, to have a mom and a dad tuck them in at night. But Jake has never known that. But he has a father. Lucky wants to be a part of your kids' lives. I wish I could say the same for Patrick. Are you having second thoughts about doing this by yourself? I know I'm capable of doing it by myself. But this child will always feel wanted and loved by me. But what if that's not enough? What if this child grows up feeling like there's something missing in their life? And there doesn't have to be. Patrick never wanted to have kids. And maybe when the baby was just an idea, but now it's so very real. I don't know. He's made his priorities very clear. There's no room in his life for children. And even if there was, I'm not sure he'd have the first clue about how to raise one. <laughs> there are no perfect fathers. All you can do is hope for someone who will make a commitment to doing what's very best for your child. Dr. Judy. 